thing to say. Go get him, Tiger! Big CGI fight coming up! I am not made of steel. Rage. I am made of rage. We're not saying this. Colossus is. Hello viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is all about X-Men's Colossus and his bewildering family tree ranging from his ancestor, the real-life Russian mystic Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin to his hermit uncle Vladimir from southern Siberia. The X-Men characters are known for their complicated family history, most talked about them being Cyclops' background, but Colossus is no less when it comes to matters of the fam jam. Hailing from a tiny farm village in Russia, Colossus had the first realization of his mutant powers at the age of 13, sometime after which he was discovered by Professor X and brought to America. Little did the peace-loving artist at heart Colossus know that he comes from a long line of ancestors with the X gene, all thanks to Grigory Rasputin and Mr. Sinister's crazy experiments. So let's delve deeper into Colossus's family history and what better way to start than with the main man himself. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex. <laughs> Yotir Rasputin, Colossus, the main character himself. As X-Men enthusiasts would note, Colossus's mutant ability is to transform his body into steel, thus granting him superhuman strength. He was introduced as Peter Rasputin in Marvel Comics in the 1975 issue of Giant Size X-Men No. 1. That was the time when Professor X, aka Charles Xavier, was looking for new mutants across the world to save the original X-Men from the island of Krakoa. Professor X detected Peter Rasputin as a mutant, when he was working in a field in his village in Russia and prevented an out-of-control tractor from running over his little sister. As Peter jumped in front of the tractor, his body transformed into steel, crushing the giant vehicle into mush. Recruited by Professor X, Peter abandoned his dreams of living a peaceful life and pursuing his hobbies as an artist to put his mutant powers to use for the greater good. My heart tells me to stay Papa, but my conscience tells me otherwise, Peter told his father. Peter codenamed Colossus, then joined the other new X-Men recruits, Wolverine, Banshee, Storm, Nightcrawler, Sunfire, and Thunderbird. Colossus' story arc was expanded in the 2008 comics X-Men Origin Colossus, in which he had the Russian name Pyotr Rasputin. This version of Pyotr's backstory said that after learning that his brother Mikhail had died while working for the government, Pyotr transformed into his steel body in a fit of rage and sorrow. Pyotr's superhuman transformation was witnessed by a friend of Mikhail named Alexander, who started looking for Professor X to inform him about Pyotr. Meanwhile, a government agent, Dubenko, who was spying on Pyotr's family, discovered Pyotr's secret when he transformed into a steel version just to amuse its little sister. Dubenko sent agents to capture Pyotr, who defended himself by exhibiting his phenomenal strength. Soon after, Professor X, who has been in touch with Alexander, witnessed the tractor incident and recruited Colossus as the newest X-Men member. Colossus possessed superhuman strength once he transformed into his armored self. He could restrain the indomitable juggernaut, deliver blows to the gladiator, and resist the savage Hulk. Colossus was also trained by Wolverine and seasoned as a combatant in Professor X's Danger Room. Grigory Rasputin, Ancestor The source of Colossus's mutant genes dates back to the late 19th century and involves the real-life historical figure Grigory Rasputin, who was a sinister priest in Russia. As for the 2005 limited comic series X-Men Colossus Bloodline, it all began when the mad scientist Nathaniel Essex, who later became Mr. Sinister, chanced upon Grigory Rasputin, who in the comics was a mutant sorcerer. In order to create mutant bloodlines, Grigory began impregnating his many celestial brides, enabling Essex to experiment on the unborn babies with the hope of creating the XG. Notable of Grigory's lovers was Elena from Siberia, who had strange powers on her own. Her twin brother, Ivan, disapproved of Elena's relationship with Grigory and planned to assassinate him. However, before being killed, Grigory split his soul into all of his pregnant wives so that they could carry on his mutant bloodline. Grigory could only return when most of his descendants were dead, but only the powerful ones remaining. After his death, a pregnant Elena fled away and gave birth to a mutant baby. She named the baby Rasputin after Grigory, and that's how the Rasputin line of mutants came to be. 
Mikhail Rasputin Brother Colossus had two siblings. His older brother Mikhail belonged to a category of mutants referred to as the Changelings, who can exhibit their mutant powers from birth. Mikhail was the Rasputin sibling with criminal tendencies and dark traits, making an alliance with Mr. Sinister and aiding various terrorist groups. In Russia, Mikhail worked for the government as a cosmonaut, keeping his mutant abilities a secret affair. But when the Soviets learned of it, they staged his death while attempting to harness his mutant powers. This pushed Mikhail into a dimensional rift, where he was welcomed by the locals and he went on to have a family. During a civil war, the rift was opened and Mikhail's attempt to seal it back killed hundreds of people, including his wife. Later, when Colossus along with the other X-Men intended to close the rift, Mikhail joined him and returned to Earth. However, unable to adjust to the new environment, Mikhail fled the X-Mansion and joined several terror groups, only to be driven insane. Mikhail later appeared when Mr. Sinister, who was called the Pale Man then, was killing Rasputin's descendants in order to bring Grigory Rasputin's soul back. Mikhail wanted to be the only remaining Rasputin of the bloodline so that he could absorb all of Grigory's life essence and trap Colossus in a rock universe. But better sense prevailed and he freed Colossus and transported himself to a dimension from where he could not return, thus preventing Mr. Sinister from resurrecting Grigory forever. Mikhail also played a tragic role in his mutant sister Ileana's death. Mikhail was an extremely powerful mutant who could manipulate all forms of energy and thus could teleport through the multiverse. He could also control subatomic matter and warp energy. Ileana Rasputina, Magic Sister Colossus's younger sister, his little snowflake, Ileana Rasputina, is better known in the Marvel Universe as Magic, the mutant sorcerer. As a little girl, when Ileana was visiting Colossus in the United States, she was kidnapped by the demon sorcerer Belasco and transported to the hellish dimension of Limbo, where time operates differently. In the few seconds that she spent away from Earth, Ileana spent several years in Limbo, during which she developed her mutant abilities and also trained in sorcery under Belasco, mastering several dark arts. Having manifested the power of teleportation, she finally returned to Earth and joined Professor X's The New Mutants as magic. Later, when the demons of Limbo attacked Earth, she sacrificed her magical powers in order to close the portal between Earth and Limbo. Without her powers, she was reborn as a little kid and reunited with her parents. When the government learns that Ileana will manifest mutant powers in the future, they kill her parents and take her away to harness her future abilities. She was rescued and taken back to the X-Mansion, where soon she was found to be infected by the Legacy Virus, an allegory for AIDS which affected those with the X-Gene. Ileana was the first mutant that the virus claimed in what has to be one of the saddest moments in Marvel Comics. Later, a shocking discovery revealed Mikhail had traveled to the past when Ileana was with the New Mutants and convinced her to arrive into the future with the promise of altering her DNA to resist the Legacy Virus. In reality, he transferred the virus to her, hoping her mutant immune system would develop a resistance to the virus, but the plan backfired. Ileana's death rattled Colossus so much that he abandoned the X-Men to join Professor X's arch-nemesis Magneto's group of mutants, the Acolytes. However, Colossus eventually returned to the X-Men. Later, a cure for the Legacy Virus was found, but it had to be activated for dissemination by a mutant who would die in the process. Colossus, mirrored in guilt for his sister's death, injected a serum and sacrificed himself for the greater good, only to be resurrected later by the alien named Ord. Magic was also eventually resurrected by Belasco, following which she attained the Lordship of Limbo and became one of the great captains of Krakoa and was even mentored by Doctor Strange. While Magic reconnected with Colossus, her dark side remained, owing to which she manipulated Colossus into becoming the Juggernaut for a while. Nikolai Rasputin, Father so those were the three mutant Rasputin siblings, which brings us to their parents. Dad Rasputin, aka Nikolai Rasputin, was a direct descendant of Grigory's bloodline. Nikolai Rasputin, along with his wife Alexandra, settled in the Russian farmlands of the Yust Ordinsky Collective near Lake Baikal in Siberia. Nikolai first appeared in the comics when Colossus, happily living on his farm, had a tractor incident. After being invited by Professor X to join the new X-Men, Colossus sought his father's advice. Do as your heart tells you, my son, it will not betray you, were Nikolai's words which encouraged Colossus to sign up for the X-Men. Even though Nikolai was a descendant of the mystic Grigory Rasputin, he did not exhibit any mutant powers and lived a rather humble life. When the tattooed man, a villainous mutant, got to know that Pewter was a mutant, he blackmailed Nikolai to keep it a secret. 
Nikolai and Alexandra were slain by Soviet soldiers under the Red Flag Protocol, who took away their daughter Ilyana when they learned of her mutant powers. Alexandra Rasputina, Mother Alexandra Rasputina, the mother of Colossus, Mikhail, and Magic, was a farm woman from Russia and has had very little presence in the comic books. She appeared in the 1975's giant-sized X-Men No. 1 when Colossus left with Professor X for New York to join the X-Men. As we mentioned before, she was killed by government agents soon after she was reunited with her daughter Ilyana, who was back to being a little girl after closing the doorway between Limbo and Earth. Alexander Rasputina appeared in another reality when the mutant nightmare created a dream in Colossus' mind. In the dream, Alexander Rasputina came back from the dead as a zombie and attacked Colossus, but she eventually gave up and returned to the grave. Nereal First Romantic Encounter Next, we have Nereal, a native of the Fall People from the prehistoric Savage Land with whom Colossus had his first sexual encounter. When Colossus along with the other X-Men ended up in the Savage Land while evading Magneto's Antarctic lair, Colossus saved Nereal and a friend of hers from a T-Rex attack. Nereal took a liking for Colossus and invited him to an isolated island and indulged in romantic pursuits. She and her friend made Colossus believe that it was a tribal ritual to honor their friend who died in the T-Rex attack. Colossus left with the X-Men soon after, unaware that Nereal would conceive a child. Later, Colossus would meet Nereal again when the X-Men returned to the Savage Land following the destruction of its people by the scavenger Terminus. Nereal, who survived the attack, is now mother to a son named Peter, who was actually Colossus's offspring. Once the Savage Land was restored, Nereal filled in her father's shoes as the chief of the land. Peter Rasputin, son. This brings us to Colossus's son, Peter, who has made three or four comic book appearances since first introduced. Colossus got a chance to hang out with Peter during his second visit to the Savage Land, but Nereal never really told Colossus that he was Peter's father. However, his friend Longshot knew about it and almost revealed it to Colossus, but Nereal made him promise to keep it a secret. Peter's long due appearance in X-Men Colossus Bloodline No. 4, the first time in around a decade, was a much-needed reminder about his existence. When Colossus's uncle Vladimir Rasputin killed himself, Peter, just like the rest of the Rasputin family members, felt the psychic shockwave of his death. That was the last time readers saw Peter in the comics. Vladimir Rasputin, Paternal Uncle Now who was this Vladimir Rasputin? He was the paternal uncle of Colossus from Russia who lived as a hermit near Siberia's Lake Baikal. Vladimir Rasputin eventually went insane and killed himself before his death when Rasputin family members were mysteriously being hunted down and dying. Colossus and his cousin Larissa visited their uncle Vladimir looking for answers. There, they were approached by Mr. Sinister who revealed that he was eliminating Rasputin descendants in order to bring back Grigory Rasputin's soul. Vladimir's children, who were Colossus's cousins Constantine, Dimitri, and Clara, also found mention in the X-Men Colossus Bloodline comics. Mr. Sinister and Colossus's brother Mikhail, who was working with him at that time, tracked down and killed Vladimir's three children as part of their evil plan. Larissa Mishenko, Paternal Cousin Colossus had a paternal cousin named Larissa Mishenko. Her mother was a Rasputin who belonged to the same generation as Colossus's dad Nikolai and uncle Vladimir and married into the Mishenko family. Larissa appeared in X-Men Colossus Bloodline, the limited series that expanded upon Colossus's family history. Larissa, who was a journalist, gave a distress call to her cousin when one of her friends who was impersonating Larissa was killed. Once Colossus returned to Russia, Larissa shared her discovery that the Rasputins were descendants of the real-life mystic Grigory Rasputin, who was a notable mutant. Larissa was the one who informed Colossus that the Rasputin family members were disappearing one by one, and their investigation eventually led them to Mr. Sinister, who later killed Larissa. <laughs> Marvelous verdict. And that was Colossus's complicated family, folks. Exploring the mutant's family history also reveals his tragic backstory. The peace-loving Pyotr Rasputin was shattered by the deaths of his close ones. His parents were murdered, his little sister was abducted by a demon, and his brother turned out to be an insane criminal. Moreover, it appears that because of the many experiments carried out on Grigory's unborn babies, the Rasputin bloodline was plagued by mental instability and dark traits. All said and done, Colossus, who wanted to live a simple life, was drawn into one full of duties as an X-Man, which he fulfilled as the good man he was. How interesting did you find Colossus' family background? Tell us in the comments below. 
And if you liked our video, please give us a shout out and watch this space for more marvelous content. I'll see you on the next one. What do you want? I do not know of any mansion.